Slipstream, Tyler Farrar is their sprinter. Quick step, Tom Bonin is here. They got, he's got Paolo Bettini. It will probably be his final lead out man. Once again, more of the CSC team now coming through to the front. High road coming up there has Mark Cavendish. He is in uh, the second group, so Cavendish is not in this front group. He's missed out on this one, as we thought. There goes my stage prediction. Ha ha ha. <laughs> See, I led that in. It was like uh, just throwing a wee hook line in at that, that uh, pre show we done, uh, mentioning uh, Cavendish, and you went for it. I did. Hook line and sinker. Fell for that one. Let's get him out there and start improving his climbing. <laughs> got to get over those. There's no point in being a fast sprint if you can't get over a climb like that. You got to. It was a. I know he's uh, early in the year. No, I, I think know. definitely the way the CSC are riding, they're definitely going to try and set up uh, uh, JJ Hado for the sprint finish here. Through the tight twists here, you can just see it's just thinning out a little bit at the back. Of the Criterium finish, taking a few, probably a few of the Europeans by surprise. The pace is very, very quick. And the whole CSC team now coming through to the front, and they really have got a great lead out. I mean, as, as a sprinter, you. Uh, Love to have Stuart O'Grady and family in Council are right in front of you and Jens Vocht. <laughs> well, certainly coming up to quick step there, and there's about three of the the train up there for uh, CSC, and I think uh, very soon Bobby Julius. It's good to see him up there as well. Um, Levi Lightpan got looked after by uh, Horner. And looks like uh, Council are bringing up JJ Hado on the wheel. The Astana team just keeping their leader out of trouble, Chris Horner. The American champion. Chilik is in there as well for uh, High Road. And have their, be their sprinter. Get the nod, George Hink happy, just protecting the back wheel of him. Rock Racing coming through. That's Mike Creed. And working for Fast Freddy. But still, quick step on the front. They'll get the bell this time as they go through the finishing straight. Now that overhead shot under the shopping mall. Yeah, they come under the shopping mall for the last time. We we'll probably won't get any pictures when they come under here. We'll probably get this picture of the sprint finish. We'll see what's happening. So hopefully we're not going to get that huge overhead shot all the way into the line. We're going to pick out who it is. Are we going to have any attacks before the finish? One lap to go this time. They go through the finish. One lap remaining and it's stretching out of the back is anyone going to try their chance and try and get away or are they just going to leave it all up to the sprinters the first road stage here in the tour of california and it's setting up for a thrilling finish still rock racing are in there to see them there csc now winding it up for jj hado the full train in front of them, they're all there. The yellow jersey, Fabian Cancellara. JJ has to make sure he keeps himself out of trouble. I think uh, washed looking... Washed away at all. I think looking at the, the line-up now here, I think it'll be uh, strange if nobody has a go. I think there's too many uh, American teams in here, but there's nobody will beat this... Uh, this uh, duel of uh, Quick Step and uh, CSC, there's no deal. will we'll stay away from that team. It's definitely going to be a sprint finish, but it's not going to stop some riders from uh, having a go. The twists and turns in towards the finish could play, and we've got an attack down the right-hand side of the road. Great attack through that corner, and it looks once again like one of the BMC team. What a day for them great ride they have done today to make uh, make a name for themselves and from the top just trying to get a glimpse of his number is it Jeff Lauder 
We'll have a look when we get down a little bit closer, but once again, BMC. Jackson Stewart off the front from the 17-kilometre mark. But uh, this BMC team, they're uh, dishing it out today. They're looking good. Well, they're trying to go for it. They're, you know, they're riding aggressively as we want to see. They're getting, you know, they've had publicity all day and they're still getting a bit of publicity now. But uh, I think, uh, you know, by the looks of things, CSE are going to drag this on for the last, the last uh, couple of kilometres and try and lead uh, JJ Hado out. But uh, I still think that he likes a boon and Bettini and these guys will try and get up there as well. Still the BMC rider out in front. I think it's Alex Moose, the Swiss rider. But how I rode it is... Alex Moose is caught under the pressure of the uh, CSC team on the front. Two there, then Quick Step, then another CSC rider, then Fabian Cancellara. They're all leading out. JJ Hado. Where is, uh, I think that's Tom Bonin just on the wheel behind Hado. The green and black of rock racing coming through. Looking for Freddy Rodriguez. A thrilling climax to stage one here into Santa Rosa. The crowds are huge. High road coming through. Ciolek is there sprinter now. Mark Cavendish has missed out on this one. Quick step now. Start the lead out for Tom Bonin as they get towards the final corners. But still, CSC on the front fighting to hold that position. Fabian Cancellara is in there. Paolo Bettini, the world champion. We can see Tom Bonin, two wheels behind Bettini. But still CSC on the front. Rock racing on the left. They've still got one rider on the right-hand side of the picture as well. Gerald Steiner coming through. Heinrich Hausler is their sprinter. The final twists and corners here in Santa Rosa. Let's hope everybody keeps out of trouble. And the bunch really stretching now. Still looking very, very organized at the front, CSC. Yeah, they certainly are. They're, they know they've got one of the fastest sprinters, and especially in the, the Tour of California here. And uh, But it'll be a, a struggle. And it looks as if they've been bringing Bettini up here. I'm not too sure if uh, I can see Boonen, but uh, certainly when you've got Cancellara as a lead-out man, then you know you've got everything to play for. Chilik will be in there, I'm pretty sure, because I can just see him ducking and diving <coughs> on the wheel. But there's no sight of uh, Boonen at all here. And there's still probably just about uh, one and a half, two kilometres to go to the finish. They're looking around to see where he is. Paolo Bettini, the world champion, the rainbow jersey. Here comes David, David Miller. And Bettini just swung off Miller. That just shows the danger of resting your hands on the cables. That's not what you want. Quick no. step. You don't want to have another slipstream rider wiped out by uh, quick step swinging off the front. Doesn't want to do that at all. But he brought Farrer up onto the wheel. Um, but this is... Uh Still going for JJ Hado. I think he's got the, really the power and the motivation to do something here. And uh, with these uh, European riders here, when nothing to do it, his motivation has always been in the, the Tour of California. Get them onto my soil, which is inherited soil, and let them see what they can do. And they're into the finishing straight. They go under the shopping mall, the overhead shot, and it's Paolo Bettini on the front, Ciolek on the left, Fabian Cancellara in the centre, and the sprint starts. And they wind up, it was Bettini in the centre and the long shot, we can't make out who they are, JJ, but it's JJ. Uh, JJ Hado pays Gaelic. his team back and wins stage one into Santa Rosa. They worked it to perfection. JJ Hado, CSC, they took the prologue and they take stage one. But uh, there's your winner. He sits up and he takes that. Bonin never got anywhere near that. Freddy Rodriguez in the centre. A thrilling finish to stage one of the Amgen Tour of California. From me, Martin McCrossan and Brian Smith, join us again tomorrow for stage two. Thank you.